Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a text GIF maker so you can make a GIF solely from text or add text to your current GIFs. And with that being said, let's get started. The tool we're going to be using is an online video editor called Veed, and the links to Veed are in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, the first step is to click the new project button and then we're taken into Veed's video editor and this is where we're going to make our GIF with text. So we're going to begin by clicking on upload the files and then here we're going to browse our documents and find either a GIF that we want to add text to or a video that we want to turn into a GIF, it doesn't really matter. So as you can see right here, I've got this current GIF and if I click open, it's now imported into Veed. I do want to mention that you can also do the exact same process with an MP4 file, a video, and then just turn it into a GIF right at the end. So as you can see now, I've imported my GIF and it's in Veed's timeline, so if I click play, as you can see, we have my GIF. Now, first of all, I want my GIF to be square. So what we're going to do under the settings tab is just change the size and we're going to select the square one by one aspect ratio. So now we have a square GIF. If you're doing the same process with a video and you don't want to hear the audio during your editing, all you have to do is quickly mute the timeline right here, just like so. When you export it as a GIF, a GIF doesn't retain the audio. So it doesn't matter if your video file has audio or not, there won't be any audio in your GIF. Now to begin adding text to our GIF, it's very simple. All we have to do is click on the text button right here, and here we can then choose any format of text that we want, but this doesn't really matter because we can change it later. So I'm going to select regular text, and as we can see, we now have text that appears on screen. The first thing I'm going to do is make it bigger, so I'm gonna change it to 72 pixels, and then I might change the actual font, let's just say to Anton, and then I want to change the actual content of my text. So I'm just going to say text right here, Again, I might bump this up a bit more, maybe to 96. And then I'm gonna change the color to white. And I'm also gonna change the style of this text. So if I click on more options, here I have the style drop down menu. And I'm going to, let's just see, I can change it to a bunch of different ones. I've got this outline text, I've got block. However, if I change the color, it will look a lot better. So just like so, select it again. I show you the different styles. We've got lines rounded and lines there. And then one of my favorites is the actual drop shadow. So here now you can see that our text has a bit of shadow and if we make this shadow black, it stands out. It helps the text stand out very well. So what I'm gonna do is just click and drag this to make it a bit bigger and then place it in the middle again. So now I'm going to click and drag this to the beginning and as you can see in the timeline, the text only lasts for the first couple of seconds of this video. To change this, if I want this text to last throughout the entire video, all I have to do is just click and drag it just like so and now our text will play and be there through the entire video. If I only want it for a specific section, again, I just trim it by clicking and dragging the extremity of the text element in the timeline, and then just click and drag it to move it around. Now what I'm gonna do is add some more text. So again, if I click on add new text, here I'm going to go to headline text this time. Again, we're gonna make the color white. I'm going to add some drop shadow and then make this drop shadow black, just like so. And now I'm going to make sure I click and drag this till it starts. So it starts at the end of our first text. There you go, just like this. And then I'm gonna make this text GIF right here and then change the font size to 72. I might even bump it up to 96. So now we've got text GIF in two different fonts. I might make this font a different one. So let's just say bangers like that. And that means I might bump it up even more. If I select it on the actual video canvas, I can just click and drag it just like this to make it bigger, place it in the middle. And then I'm gonna add one last piece of text, so just like so, and we're gonna choose the hammer right this time, and I'm gonna write maker, so we have our text gif maker, and then change the font size, so I'm gonna make this as big as possible. Again, under options, I'm going to add some drop shadow, make that drop shadow black, just like so. And now if I play my video through, just like this. But let's say I just want to make a gif with text, nothing else. Well, if I go into my video settings, first of all, I can change the background and I'm gonna make the background pink. And then I can just click and drag my video to remove it from the actual video canvas, just like this. So now all I have is my text and my colored background. Now what I'm gonna do is also trim my video in the timeline so it's very short because I want my GIF to be very short. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my text and this time equally spread out the text so it flashes on the screen for one second and it's alternating between the three words. So just like so. Click and drag to trim in the timeline. And now if I click play, 
as you can see, we have our text GIF. And then once you're happy with your GIF, all you have to do is click on the export button in the top right. V then starts to render your GIF with its text. And then once it's finished rendering, as you can see, we can preview it. And all we have to do is click on download as a GIF for it to be downloaded to our computer as a GIF. And that is Veed's text GIF maker. If you have any questions about making a GIF with text, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.